Hello. Welcome to the next video in the ComTorx module for the Center for Science of Information. In this video, we'll talk about balls and dividers, which is a nifty application of both one to one correspondences and binomial coefficients. As a review, the binomial coefficient pronounced n choose k is the number of ways to choose k objects from a list of n objects. Let's take a look at a simple problem. How many ways are there to rearrange the following sequence? We have six Bs and two Ds, so we have eight letters in total. Well, let's allocate eight slots for the eight letters and start by assigning the two Ds to two of the eight slots. There are eight choose two ways of doing this. The remaining slots must then all be occupied by Bs, so there are exactly eight choose two ways of rearranging six Bs and two Ds. Now, let's take a look at balls and dividers. Let's suppose we have six identical balls, and we have three bends, which are not identical. How many ways can we distribute the six balls among three bends? For example, we can assign two balls to the first bin, three balls to the second bin, and one ball to the final bin. Another possibility is assigning three balls to the third and second bins, and leaving the first bin completely empty. But let's try a systematic way of looking at this problem. Since we have six balls and they're all identical, let's just replace them with Bs. Next, we separate the bins with vertical lines to mark which Bs are in which bins. In this picture, two balls are placed in each bin. Since the vertical lines are dividers, let's replace the lines with Bs. Then, we're left with six Bs and two Ds. In fact, each rearrangement of Bs and Ds correspond to the distribution of balls to bins. For example, the sequence B, B, D, B, 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 B corresponds to our first example, and the sequence D, B, 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 D, B, B, B corresponds to our second example. Thus, we have a one-to-one -one correspondence between the number of ways to distribute six balls among three bins and the number of ways to rearrange the sequence with two Ds and six Bs. We know when we have a one-to-one -one correspondence, then the two sets must have the equal size. Thus, the number of ways to distribute six balls among three bins equals the number of ways to rearrange the sequence with two Ds and six Bs. So, how many ways are there to distribute the six balls among three bins? This is the same question as, how many ways are there to rearrange the sequence with two Ds and six Bs, which we already answered as our warm-up problem. It's eight choose two. Hence, there are eight choose two ways of distributing the six balls among three bins. In general, if we have n balls and k bins, we need k minus one dividers. Since we have a one-to-one -one correspondence between the number of ways to distribute n balls among k bends and the number of ways to rearrange the sequence with n b's and k minus 1 d's, then the number of ways to distribute n balls among k bends equals the number of ways to rearrange the sequence with n b's and k minus 1 d's, which we know to be n plus k minus 1 choose k minus 1.